in this segment, I'm going to continue using graphics mode to create embroidery for digitizer software. And specifically in this top, in this segment, we're going to take a look at using um, the drop shadow tool and the transparency tool. And that's found here on the left hand side of your toolbar. And if I go ahead and just fly open the tool here for this, the tool options, we have the drop shadow tool and transparency tool. So I think we'll start with the drop shadow tool. And to do that, I'm just going to simply create a rectangle. And you'll see that my rectangle has a fill of colored blue. Now, I'll just get a little bit closer to this so we can see it a little bit better. And the tool that I want to choose now is called Drop Shadow. So I'm going to turn the Drop Shadow tool on. And what I need to do is, first of all, click in the center of my uh, rectangle and then click and drag to pull away the Drop Shadow. And as I pull the Drop Shadow beyond my shape, you'll see the rectangle starting to appear. So this is where I'll get that Drop Shadow. And depending on where I pull the arrow to, so I can make my drop shadow be above the um, rectangle to the left or to the right, or below to the left or to the right. So it's really wherever I pull this um, line to to create that drop shadow. Now when I let go, it adds a shadow behind that rectangle. So that's how the drop shadow um, tool works. And the other tool on that toolbar was called transparency. So if I select again um, a blue rectangle, and then we'll switch the tool over to be the transparency tool. And again, I'm going to click and drag to create a slider. And so I'll put, I'll place it here. And what you'll see is it starts to make my light blue circle transparent. And to try and demonstrate that, I'm just going to maybe put my circle over top of something. And you see what happens? It actually made it transparent. You can see the vector graphic through the um, the blue area, like on the left-hand side, is still solid. And so therefore, it's quite, it's not transparent. It's opaque. You can see, you cannot see through it. Yet, through the center here and off to the left-hand side, you can easily see through it. So that's the transparency tool. And so yeah, in this in this segment here we looked at the transparency tool and we looked at the drop shadow tool as different tools that you can use to create um, effects for your graphics in graphics mode.